With the amount of important health information released each week, it can be tough to stay on top of the latest in the world of medicine. Fortunately, we're here to help you catch up on what may have fallen through the cracks in our This Week in Health segment, where we are joined by Dan Childs of the ABC News Medical Unit. Hi there, Dan. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning, Tanya. Great to be here. So, Dan, let's start with a rather dubious top five, the top so-called disgusting delicacies. Tell us about this. I mean, obviously, taste is in the taste buds of the taster, right? Certainly, yeah. And, uh, we, uh, I have to tell you that in the research for this piece, we found just a number of just bizarre delicacies. But what we came up with, corn smut, um, civet cat coffee, uh, use your imagination on that one, ant eggs. It, it really is amazing what people will eat and then also uh, label as delicacies. So what what made the top? What was number well, one? Well, corn smut actually uh, made the top, and it's interesting because this is actually uh, something that uh, has been the bane of farmers for a very long time. But for some cultures, it is uh, considered a delicacy. It's apparently very nutritious, and there are even some gourmet chefs that are taking a look at corn smut, this fungus that infects corn, uh, as a legitimate addition to their dishes and they're actually creating some really interesting uh, interesting things out of it. Of course there are a number of things that you probably wouldn't see in too many American restaurants. I can't imagine many people uh, ordering the ant eggs uh, <laughs> or the uh, civet cat coffee uh, but uh, there are a number of things that who knows you could be seeing it in your local uh, gastro pub. Uh, you never know. I've got to say I'm curious. I'd like to know what ant eggs taste like before I make a judgment there. All right, Dan, let's move on to why we may be fatter than we think. There's some new evidence coming out that we're all potentially heavier than we think because, well, fatter, not necessarily heavier. We know how much we weigh because the tried and true body mass index may be flawed. Is that right? Right. It's kind of interesting to go from uh, this angle about the uh, disgusting delicacies right into obesity. But uh, what these researchers did was they actually took an x-ray uh, of a number of people and measured their BMI. Now, the body mass index, or BMI, is the gold standard for saying if someone is obese or not. What they found out through the x-ray was that there are people who are carrying around a lot more fat than they might imagine. And the sum total of all this is that many people, in fact, 66% of people who think that they are not obese may well be obese, which suggests that the obesity epidemic may be much larger than any of us know. That's certainly not good news, distressing to hear on many levels. But we do have some good news now. Brett Michaels, as you know, keeps on rocking. Brett Michaels, happily for his fans, has remarkably gotten over, beaten the odds from a brain hemorrhage. Is that what happened? He walked out of the hospital on Tuesday. He had suffered a, a brain hemorrhage, but this was one week after he had had an emergency appendectomy. Uh, while he was recovering from his brain hemorrhage, he had a condition called hyponatremia, which can result in swelling of the brain. Add this to the fact that he's a type 1 diabetic, it really is amazing, and doctors are very uh, inspired that he was able to weather this uh, brain bleed as well as he did. Now, were there signs coming on before this happened to him, do you know? Uh, it came on quite suddenly from what we can tell, and this is actually the way that most brain hemorrhages occur. Oftentimes, there is absolutely no warning that this is about to happen. He just had a terrible headache. Fortunately, he knew enough to go to the hospital and say that he was experiencing these things because most of the people who go through this uh, have a tough time getting medical treatment in the beginning because it just strikes so quickly. Well, we are certainly glad that he is doing so much better. And now, next up, inside the gambler's brain. Now, this story is creating a buzz on the health page because it takes us inside the mind of a gambler and provides some interesting insight on what constitutes a win for fans of games of chance. Right, Dan? Right. This is really interesting. This is yet another one of those studies where they used a functional MRI to peer into the brains of gamblers. What they found out was that for gamblers, almost winning, it gives the same sensation as a normal person would get from winning. Now, this could really help unlock the problem uh, with some people who happen to be addicted to gambling. So they don't actually have to win. They just have to almost win. So the highs are a lot more frequent. Right, right. And it, just getting so close but not quite getting it. They still get that rush, but I'm afraid they don't get their money back. All right. So next up, embryo mix-up 
gave a miracle baby. This is a story that people are just fascinated with. And we just had the parents on this show this week talking about how a mix up with embryos at a fertility clinic led to the miracle baby and has opened up a new dialogue about just how accurate and safe the in vitro process can be. Right, Dan? Right, it's absolutely fascinating. And uh, this is all coming out actually in a series of two books, uh, one from the parents who had the embryo, one from the uh, mother who actually carried the embryo. But it was uh, an amazing mix up. Um, this woman had her embryos frozen uh, when uh, they were actually given to another woman. Now the, uh, the resolution of this story is just amazing. The woman who received the embryos became pregnant and she carried the child to term after which she gave the baby back to the biological parents. Uh, lawyers who were involved in the case say they've never seen anything like it before. All right, Dan Childs of the ABC News Medical Unit, thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, you can find these stories along with all your health and wellness news and information anytime on the health page at abcnews.com.